So let's let's then say that uh, that let's add one of those factors and say that he's blind. Let's say, unfortunately, Adam is blind. So we're going to say, boom. All right, let's go back on over and see what happens to the form. And so now we have a singular filer, a single filer still. But now we have this checkbox here for blind. And what happens? Still 100,000 up top. But uh, down below, now we have a standard deduction of 15,700. How did that happen? Well, you could go to the to the 1040 SR and look at that chart. There's the 157 right there. How can we put that in our little worksheet so I can see that when it comes up uh, in Excel? So I can kind of double check and say what happened there. All right, so if I was to check this, I'd be like, okay, my standard deduction isn't fitting, doesn't work, and I can see why. And then I'm going to add my little table down here. Now I got this backwards. This should be a single, single, uh, and head of household, I believe. And this should be uh, the one that's married filing joint, I believe. And so let's switch those. And now we can see that if that was our starting point, then if they're single or head of household, there's another 1,850 per each of those items over 65 or blind. If they're married filing joint, it's another 1,500 per item. So I'm going to go up here and say, okay, that makes sense. I'll add this and say plus another 1,850. And that's what gets me up to that 15,007. And I can go back on over here and say that's 15,007. Now you could get to a more uh, uh, complicated or sophisticated Excel worksheet to do that manually, uh, to do that less manually, I, I guess, to automate that process. But I kind of like the idea of doing that because that makes me recalculate a pretty significant number and do a little bit of a calculation and say, okay, I see what's happening here. It was this 13,850 plus they had that one uh, blind situation. That's why it's going up to 15,007 to get to my, to my taxable income of 84,300.